Friends, if I tell you you can solve a Rubik's Cube within a few simple steps, even if you're holding a Rubik's Cube for the first time, would you believe me? No? Believe me, yes, you can do it. Watch this video till the end to find out I'm not joking. Before we start doing anything, first you need to understand the concept behind it. So we need to understand how the algorithm works. So let's understand what a 3x3 Rubik's Cube consists of. Friends, there are six sides of a 3x3 Rubik's Cube, each with a different color. The centerpiece color of all sides does not change, no matter how much you mix up the cube. There are three layers in a Rubik's Cube. The bottom layer is called the first layer, the middle layer is called the second layer, and the third layer is called the last layer. Rubik's Cube has three main parts centers, corners, and edges. Now, let's see how the Rubik's Cube moves. Friends, each side of the Rubik's Cube can be rotated clockwise or anti-clockwise like this. You can make a single turn or a double turn like this. Okay, now let's talk about 12 basic moves of Rubik's Cube. These 12 moves are noted down in letters that stand for 190 degree cube rotation. Note. No apostrophe means the cube will rotate clockwise 90 degrees, like this. And apostrophe means the cube will rotate anti-clockwise 90 degrees, like this. Now, let me show you each single move separately to understand more clearly. 1. R. Right. Rotate clockwise, like this. 2. R. Apostrophe. Rotate anti-clockwise. Like this. L. Left. Rotate clockwise. Like this. L apostrophe. Rotate anti clockwise. Like this. 5. U. Up. Rotate clockwise. Like this. 6. U apostrophe. Rotate anti clockwise. Like this. 7. Down. Rotate clockwise. Like this. D apostrophe. Rotate anti-clockwise, like this. 9. Front. Front. Rotate. Clockwise, like this. 10. F apostrophe. Rotate anti-clockwise, like this. B. Back. Rotate clockwise, like this. 12. B apostrophe. Rotate anti-clockwise, like this. Now let's see a few double turn moves, which are noted down in letters that stand for two 90 degree cube rotations. One, R2, right, rotate clockwise two times, like this. Two, L2, left, rotate clockwise two times, like this. Three, U, U2, up, rotate clockwise two times, like this. Four. D2, down, rotate clockwise two times, like this. F2, front, rotate clockwise two times, like this. 6, B2, back, rotate clockwise two times, like this. Friends, I will suggest you please pause the video and practice these basic rotations. Now, before jumping onto the algorithm, let's practice some of the basic moves that will help you in solving a Rubik's Cube. Practice move for right hand. Note, we will be performing these moves six times so that the cube will come back to its original position. Right apostrophe, rotate anti-clockwise like this. D apostrophe, rotate anti-clockwise like this. R, rotate clockwise like this. D, rotate clockwise like this. U, rotate clockwise like this. R, rotate clockwise like this. U apostrophe, rotate clockwise like this. R apostrophe, rotate anti-clockwise like this. Now let's practice left hand moves. Note, we'll be performing this move six times so that the cube will come back to its original position. 
U apostrophe, rotate anti-clockwise like this. L apostrophe, rotate anti-clockwise like this. U, rotate clockwise like this. L, rotate clockwise like this. L, rotate clockwise like this. D, rotate clockwise like this. L apostrophe, rotate anti-clockwise like this. D apostrophe, rotate anti-clockwise like this. Okay, it looks now like you have good control of your Rubik Cube. So let's start with the main algorithm. Friends, there are six levels of the main algorithm to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik Cube properly. Let's start with level one, making a plus sign on top of the Rubik Cube. Friends, to complete this task, we'll have to deal with the center and the edge pieces of a Rubik Cube. Okay, let's make a green color plus sign. We'll be assigning all the green color edge pieces on the top so that it should make a plus sign on the top. This level is very simple and does not require any algorithms. Just keep in mind, green color edge pieces should match with the center pieces of a different color. Okay, let's do it. See, it's not that difficult to make a plus sign on the top. Now it's time to complete the first layer, which is level two. In this step, we have to assign the color green pieces so that our first layer can be completed. So bring the green color corner pieces in the alignment where you have to place it and perform this algorithm. R apostrophe, D apostrophe, R, D, like this. Repeat this step unless your green color piece is placed properly, like in this way. Friends, you have to keep in mind that the corner pieces should match with the adjacent color, like in this way. Congratulations! You have just cleared the first layer, and now we're going to complete the middle layer, which is the third level for solving a Rubik Cube. Friends, now simply rotate the cube upside down so that your first green layer should face the bottom and blue piece should be facing the top, like in this way. Now to complete the middle layer, we will again deal with the edge pieces. Note the blue center piece is not to be placed in the middle layer. So there can be two conditions, either the edge pieces in the top will go to the right of the middle layer or the left of the middle layer. For the left side, apply this algorithm, U apostrophe, L apostrophe, U, L, U, F, U apostrophe, F apostrophe, like this. For the right side, apply this algorithm. U, R, U apostrophe, R apostrophe, U apostrophe, F apostrophe, U, F, like this. For the left side, apply this algorithm. U apostrophe, L apostrophe, U, L, U, F, U apostrophe, F apostrophe, like this. For the left side, apply this algorithm. U apostrophe, L apostrophe, U, L, U, F, U apostrophe, F apostrophe, like this. Friends, I feel like you're getting comfortable with the Rubik Cube. So let's solve the third layer now, which is the fourth level for solving a Rubik Cube. The third layer is also called the last layer. To solve the third layer, we will have to make a plus sign on the third layer. Friends, this is one of the most important parts, so make sure you don't mess up with the first and second layer. It looks difficult, but don't worry, believe me, it's not difficult. I'll show you a very easy algorithm so that you can achieve this target also. So let's start. From here, there will be four cases possible to make a plus sign on the third layer. Case one, 
check if there is already a plus sign on the top layer. If yes, you have to organize it in a way that the adjacent color matches your top layer. For that, perform this algorithm. R, U, R apostrophe, U, R, U2, R apostrophe, U. Repeat it. Unless you get your Rubik cube like this. If you get it, simply go to the level five. If no, then jump to case two. Case two. If there is no plus sign on the top, then there is a possibility that there will be a straight line like this. If yes, then turn the straight line so that it's horizontal towards you and perform this algorithm. F R U R apostrophe U apostrophe F apostrophe. Now check the condition from the top. If no, then jump to case three. Case three. If there is no straight line, then there could be just three pieces or more, but you have to find three pieces that will make a L like this. If yes, then turn the cube so that the L should look opposite, like this, and perform this algorithm. F, R, U, R apostrophe, U apostrophe, F apostrophe. Now check the condition from the top. If no, then jump to case four. This is the last possibility, and there will be only one color facing the top, i.e. the centerpiece. Example, if the yellow color is your centerpiece, then there will be only one yellow piece, i.e. the center yellow piece facing to the top. Note, there can be extra pieces, but if they're not satisfying the above condition, then you have to apply this algorithm. F, R, U, R apostrophe, U apostrophe, F apostrophe. Check the condition from the top now. Repeat this condition until you get the plus sign on top. Now, let's finish the fifth level, the third layer corner. Friends, you're almost there. Don't give up here. From here, we will align the corner pieces together. Friends, look closely to your Rubik cube. If your corner pieces are already in place, you just have to align it together so that it matches the top and the adjacent colors like this and you can simply move on to the level six. But if the corner pieces don't match with the adjacent color, simply perform the algorithm U, R, U apostrophe, L apostrophe, U, R apostrophe, U apostrophe, L. until it matches the corner pieces like this. Friends, can you believe now that I tell you you're just one move away from solving the Rubik's Cube? Yes, you did a great job. Yes, you have finished the first layer and the second layer. Now only the third layer corner pieces are left. You already have aligned the pieces all together and it's time to perform the final move. Here you go. Friends, now just apply this algorithm. R apostrophe, D apostrophe, RD, like this. And what? Congratulations, you have finally completed the Rubik's Cube. Well done. If you like the video, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel.